it's hot and I'm, I'm taking it, I feel like I'm taking it pretty good for doing three different classes. I know where I'll go out and ride my bicycle longer. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Uh. Oh yeah. As far as I can remember, I've, I've always loved motorcycles and wanted to <clears throat> wanted to race motorcycles. My mom raced whenever she was little. Uh, she was actually she's you know a big reason why we even got started. And I remember my first road race. I think my papa took me to to Mid Ohio and watched Nikki and Tommy and Roger and them race there. And right then I was like, yeah, I want to do this. So it was it's it's always been something I've wanted to do, and I've done it for 22 years now. So. It's a, yeah, it's a pretty big part of my life, and I honestly, I wouldn't change any of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm running three classes, and it's 105 degrees or whatever it is, and in Superbike, I pulled in a lap early because my feet were friggin' on fire. So that was a little weird for me. That was a different sensation than I've ever felt, and the air is actually, like, on the back straight. If you sit up not tucked in, you actually feel like your neck is, like, getting fried a little bit, like in the air, it's just so hot. I get off the bike, I go in the trailer, sit in front of the AC, try to cool down best I can, drink as much water as I can. And this weekend I've got, I'm, I'm going for two different championships. And you know, every weekend I want to get better and better on the sewer bike, but honestly at this point, I'm kind of thinking I might need to chill out on the sewer bike side a little bit and focus more on the stock thousand and the baggers. And the reason I want to do more classes is because I want to beat everybody. I, I want to just beat everybody. And no matter what class we're in, no matter what bikes we're on, I give it 110% every single time I'm on the track and I, I hang it all out there. But you know, a weekend like this where it's so hot, it's, it's tough to do that. And uh, it's, it's getting tough. Outside of motorcycle racing, every, nothing else really matters. Like whenever we go mountain biking or bicycling or anything, I, I'm just there to have fun. If we go to the motocross track, it's, it's, I, if it's not fun, I'm not gonna wanna do it. And so away from the races, I, I try to make sure everything is fun. And, and I, you know, of course I wanna go fast, I wanna beat people, but like, I'm not the greatest bicycler. And so I don't, I don't care to get my butt whooped on a bicycle. I'm competitive, but and nothing, nothing compares to how I am on a motorcycle. I've had a regular job. I didn't like it. Like it sucks. It sucks. Jobs suck. This being one of my the biggest passion in my life, I I don't want to look at it like like it's my job. Obviously, I'm gonna treat it like it's like it's my job, but it, I don't want to treat it like it's my job 100% of the time, or else I'll hate it. So in 2019, I I got I was kind of done. I, I didn't ride a motorcycle for a year because I just didn't care about getting on a motorcycle because every time I looked at a bike, I was like, ah, that doesn't even look fun. So now, the, where I'm at in life now, I, I look at motorcycles and I'm like, right, let's go ride. We go do track days and stuff and, and Mark, my crew chief, has a bunch of different bikes and I'll ride whatever you give me. I just want to go ride. So that's the big thing this this year, I you know, doing Stock Thousand, doing Superbike, doing the King of the Baggers. I want to prove to people that, that I can win in all the different classes. Disrupt is obviously they they got me Jesse and Danny and them got me back in to this sport full time and now I'm, I'm making a, a good a decent living out of it and it's pretty cool because every, everybody on the team rides. It's like whenever we go do track days or we go test, you know when we take the whole truck, everybody else has their bikes there. Like there's usually 12 to 15 of us that are actually all riding while we're testing while we're doing track days and everything. So. Like everybody rides motorcycles, everybody loves motorcycles, and, and that's I think that's a big reason why we've had so much success here, is because everybody's coming at it from a rider or racer standpoint. They, no matter what, they just they just want to go out there and win races, whether they're on the bike or working on the bike. This team is is a big collective part of people that just that love being here and, and all they care about is doing good.